Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the Y parameters for the two port network and we have been asked to find the value of the load impedance ZL in a such a way that the maximum power will get transferred to the load. So we know that the maximum power will get transferred to the load when the value of the load is same as the thevenin's equivalent impedance. Or in other words, when the value of the ZL is same as the ZTH. So first of all, let us represent the input and the output parameters for this given two port network. So here, this I1 and V1 are the current and the voltage on the input side, while the I2 and V2 are the current and the voltage on the output side. So like I said, the Thevenin's equivalent impedance is the equivalent impedance which is seen from this side by considering all the independent sources in the circuit as zero. That means here, it is the equivalent impedance which is seen from this side by considering this voltage source as a zero. Now in two port network, when the load is connected, then we can say that the value of this load is equal to V2 divided by I2. So in this condition, where the voltage source is short circuited, the value of this load impedance is same as the ZTH. That means in this condition, if we find the value of this V2 divided by I2, then that is equivalent to the ZTH. So in this condition, first of all, let us apply the KVL on the input side. So if we apply the KVL on the input side, then we can say that this 10 ohm times I1 plus V1 is equal to zero. Or we can say that this V1 is equal to minus 10 I1. So let's say this is the equation number one. So later on, we will use this equation to find the ratio of this V2 and the I2. So here, these are the Y parameters for the given two port network. So from this Y parameters, we can write the expression of the I1 and the I2 in terms of the voltage V1 and the V2. So as you know, this current I1 is equal to Y11 times V1 plus Y12 times V2. And likewise, this I2 is equal to this Y21 times V1 plus Y22 times V2. So here, this Y11 is equal to 2 divided by 100 while the Y12 is equal to minus 1 divided by 100. And likewise, the value of the Y21 and the Y22 is equal to minus 1 divided by 100 and the 4 divided by 300. So from this we can say that this current I1 is equal to 2 divided by 100 times V1 minus 1 divided by 100 times V2. And likewise, this current I2 is equal to minus 1 divided by 100 times V1 plus 4 divided by 300 times V2. Now earlier, we have seen that the input voltage V1 is equal to minus 10 times I1. Or from this, we can say that this I1 is equal to minus V1 divided by 10. So let us put this value in the first expression. That means if we write this value of the I1 in the first expression, then we will get minus V1 divided by 10. That is equal to 2 divided by 100 times V1 minus 1 divided by 100 times V2. Or from this we can say that minus 10 times V1 that is equal to 2 times V1 minus V2. Or we can say that this V2 is equal to 12 V1. So in this way, we got the relation between the V2 and the V1. So what we can do? We can use this relation in the second expression. That means in the second expression, we can replace this V1 as V2 divided by 12. And from that, we can find the ratio of the V2 and the I2. So in this expression, if we replace the V1 by V2 divided by 12, then we can write this expression as this I2 is equal to minus 1 divided by 100 times V2 divided by 12 plus 4 divided by 300 times V2. That means here, we need to multiply this term by the factor of 4. So from this we can say that this I2 is equal to minus V2 plus this 4 times 4 V2. And in the denominator, we will have 1200. That means this I2 is equal to this 15 times V2 divided by 1200. Or from this we can say that 
this v2 divided by i2 is equal to 1200 divided by 15 or that is equal to 80 ohm so from this we can say that the thevenin's equivalent impedance is equal to 80 ohm or the value of the zth is equal to 80 ohm that means whenever the value of the load impedance is equal to 80 ohm then the maximum power will get transferred to the load so from this we can say that for the given two port network the maximum power will get transferred to the load when the value of the load is equal to 80 ohm